Okay people, so here we are with another episode of Wrestling Revolution 3D as Kevin Owens. So we're in July, our second month, and we're going to proceed to go against Poker Paolo. So I kind of was doing some thinking about this series, and I thought that um, in my last episode, considering that I'm supposed to be Kevin Owens, um, slash Kevin Steen, I'm uh, far too nice to my opponents. Um, I was having a conversation, I can't remember what the username was, but with one of, um, I'm guessing he was a subscriber, he was talking about, you know, all the injuries caused and stuff, and how people have died, and whatever, so I don't necessarily want to actually kill people, but um, to cause a few more injuries to people would be pretty cool, but I'm going to save it for the uh, pay-per-views, because I don't want the videos to be stupidly long, where I'm just like, power bombing someone a hundred times in the ten minute time limit, so what I'm going to do, obviously as you can see with this match, this guy has barely any health left and I've nearly got a finisher so I'll make sure this one's over quickly but uh, the next match in this week is a pay-per-view uh, sorry this month is a pay-per-view so I'll go a little bit more um, extreme in that one so there's a power bomb one two three there we go quick quick match but yeah hopefully I can interest some guys or something should be fun so we go, I'm leaving the ring, and I'm going to walk outside. There we go. So, my status has not been affected. Poker Palos has, because he was beaten so easily. So, lifestyle 353. That money is draining right now. I definitely need to get onto a uh, main roster at some point. Okay, so Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose are a tag team. And this is going to affect my uh, booking revolution now because I went below strong style wrestling and now I'm going to be above them again. So that's, uh, I guess it's kind of good, but it's kind of annoying as well for the storylines and stuff. So I'm going to submission 10 man battle royal. So I guess this one will have to be rough. So I'm going to proceed. I'm not going to do any training because Kevin Owens doesn't train. No, he does. Um, I was listening to Talk with Jericho, as in Chris Jericho's podcast, and he said that like. He's never followed some sort of a program. I mean, he's never like, shut up, no one cares about you. Um, yeah, he's never followed some sort of a program and like uh, con done like continuous uh, like you know um, exercise regimes. But he goes to the gym now and then, so maybe I won't go to the gym too much on this game to kind of mirror that. But you don't really want to be going to the gym when you're in a ten-man submission battle royal. Because um, obviously it drains your health. And as anyone who goes to the gym in real life knows, um, if you go to the gym and you overdo it a bit, or just kind of have a good workout, you get a lot of aches and pains. So it's kind of like how it translates in real life as well. Because who wants to uh, hurt their leg in the gym and then get put in a leg lock like this, right? It's got Sami Zayn in this match also. I've got Heavenly Bobby in the corner now, but he's up. Oh, I'm falling out of the ring apparently. It'd be good when the first few people go because matches like this are pretty damn ridiculous when you think about it. 10 man battle royal, submission only. Right, this guy needs to go out. Gordon Manson needs to get rid of this guy. Having a Bobby being pressed above uh, whoever that is head. He's got no health left, so hopefully he'll uh, someone will put him in the submission soon. I think I might try and get Kevin Owens' submissions up because although he doesn't do a submission finisher, I can definitely imagine that. Um, so yeah, I might try and get a submission up more than anything else. And it'll also help with matches like this. Come on. He's got him in the leg lock here. I can't see this making him tap out, but we're going to give it a try. I've nearly got a finisher as well, so that will help to drain some poor guy's health. Holding it down there. And there we go, I'm falling down. Here we go for the normal power bomb. Not quite the gut wrench that I have set as a finisher. Still no pop-up power bombs in uh, the iOS version of the game. I don't think, unless I'm doing it completely wrong. Oh, camel clutch or the accolade, whatever you want to call it. On to Gordon Manson. This has to be. Oh no, I doesn't say this has to be it, but he just pops out of it. Two people have specials at the moment. Here we go. 
Ah, oh, gut wrench power bomb. Come on, Gordon Manson, this has to be it. I think Heavenly Bobby might mess this up. No, nope, apparently not. Gordon Manson should be tapping out. He's just been powerbombed by Kevin Steen, for God's sake. Alright, let's run out of this corner because it's all getting a little bit hectic. I get taken down as I'm saying that. Alright, there we go, rolling out the ring. Best way to do, to go about it. Got Andy Retch on the outside who had a go at me before the match. So, I figure I should beat him. Beat him up on the outside. Let him know that you don't mess with Kevin Steen. Nice belly to belly suplex there. And all I just see is a sea of colours as the camera tries to catch us but can't. Oh, what is going on? Right, I'm getting back in the ring. This is ridiculous. Okay. Alright. Just grab the first guy that you see. Oh no. Sami Zayn. Got me in the armbar. Let's hope he doesn't get the victory. Or at least just eliminate me. So I'm on the floor, everyone's just stood around. I really do hate these matches. This is something that M. Dickey needs to work on because it's just not cool. You literally just can't do anything. I, you know, as soon as this mission happens, everyone just stands there watching you in a big huddle. Like, can you not just carry on fighting maybe, considering it's a battle royal and not like a 10 man like equivalent to a fatal four way? A 10 man. Um, ten man tumble <laughs> doesn't really work, but you know it needs to be. It's you know it's it's, a, it's an elimination match. They just don't all crowd around a guy doing the submission. It just causes for annoying gameplay. Anyway, we've got Andy Wretch in the leg lock. He should submit, but he's not going to. God's sake, this match is ridiculous. Just makes you want to quit, but then again, I kind of need to win every match that I can. There we go, I'm pulling his leg once more. I'm just going to hold it there now until he gets out of it. There we go, he's out of it. Now everyone goes back to fighting. How ridiculous. Oh, slingshot to Andy Wretch. He's gone outside. I'm going to follow him. Apparently, Kevin Steen does a springboard, which is ridiculous. Okay, can I get you up on the ladder if I drag you over? I know you can do it with a table. Can we go on the ladder? No, apparently not. Oh, and he just well strongly slammed me through the ladder. Come on, get up. Pain can't be that bad. Okay, power bomb. Nope. He's got me. Who's this guy on the outside? He's coming after Andy Wretch. Giving me some breathing room there. Sami Zayn going outside. Oh, Andy Ratch is outside again. I'm going to jump in after. Oh, tall order. Didn't know that he was um, in the ring. Luckily, he didn't grab me there. Powerbomb to tall order. And submission time. Camel clutch. I break your back and make you humble. That's my worst Iron Sheik um, impression ever. And I've nearly got a finisher, but that's not really going to help me in this match. Come on. Tap out. I think he'd be tapping out by this point. I'm absolutely wrenching him. Now, Sami Zayn has a finisher, but again, he's not using it because there's like a submission going on in the middle of the ring. That, needs to be, that really needs to be fixed. But now he's got some guy, I think Crucial Kennedy is his name on this. Had him in the uh, Dragon Sleeper. Oh, come on. Hey, tall order. Got to get this guy back. Oh no, but apparently I'm slamming Andy Wretch instead. And now I've got my finisher, so Andy Wretch can take a finisher. Get him up. Got wrench power bomb. There we go. Everyone needs to just go away. This is ridiculous. Do I just like quit this match now? I feel like just walking out on it to be honest. Seven minutes and not a thing has happened. 
ridiculous. Yeah, we're going. See you later. I've walked out, which doesn't count as a loss, at least not by pinfall or submission. But when you get put in matches like that, I really don't know what you're expected to do, you know? But apparently, uh, Jester, which is uh, Doink the Clown, has won. Come on. See, even this is taking ages. I really don't care about all these guys. They hold no interest for my career, so they can pretty much just go, you know. Come on. Okay, here we are. So lifestyle cost me three three nine. Third week of July. RVD is the new television champion of United Kingdom Wrestling. Okay. No one cares about Vince McMahon. Meeting Matt Dickey, so I might be getting a contract here. Okay, Federation Online. That'd be quite good. Advanced, 3,000. Salary, 300. I want creative on that, so I'm going to go back to him on that one. No, we can't trust you with creative control. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't want your contract then. I want to be Kevin Owens slash Kevin Steen. I don't want to be what they make me, so... That's just not going to happen. We've got a one-on-one -on -one match here. Hopefully. Hopefully people will uh, see me and want me to join their company. And we'll be happy to give me creative control because Federation Online would have been quite good. Okay, so apparently I've got beef with that guy. I don't even know who he is. I've got Tahir Kokar in a headlock and I'm punching him right now. And now we're both at the floor, and he's scoreboard me, but I've kicked out, so it's all good. Alright, maybe this is the guy I'm going to make pay. Although, now uh, that, that match took so long, I kind of feel like just speeding these ones up. Oh, that was not a nice move to his head. You know what, I'm just going to batter this guy, kind of as a revenge for uh, being put in such a rubbish match the week prior. He looks like an old man, for God's sake. What's he doing wrestling? And that's not ageism, but he's wearing glasses in the ring, and you know, Kevin Steen is young, so Kevin Steen has definitely got to win this match. So got him in the sleeper, getting our um, finisher up, let him go now, give him a couple of kicks, and a punch, and now we've got a special move gut wrench powerbomb. If I can get up quick enough, I will do another. There we go, another one. Another gut wrench power bomb. To Tahir Kokar. I don't know who's that, who he's actually supposed to be, or whether he's just like a random character. Oh, gets out of the Dragon Sleeper. And I'll try and go for my finisher again. No, nope. he reverses it into an Irish whip. That's how awful this guy is as a wrestler. And I'm going to go for another power bomb. Now let's get him up. Oh no, monkey flip. This guy's agile. More agile than I gave him credit for. What can we do here? Sidewalk slam? Yep. I might even dive off the rope at him at some point. Oh my god, RKO. Out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. No one saw that one coming. So what we've we got here? A uh, scoop slam. It's rolled over like two times, let's get on the top rope, and now elbow drop, and we're going to go up again, onto the second rope, elbow drop. I might change that to a moonsault considering that, you know, this guy can do a very decent moonsault considering his size. Another elbow drop, I'm going to uh, gonna try and get him outside, oh no, schoolboy pin into the ropes though, so that doesn't really help me. I think that might be a new move because I've not seen it before myself. Back suplex. So I'm just going to keep kicking him now. I do want to get him outside. There we go. Let's jump on him. He fell onto a chair. No. I want to go up on the top rope for God's sake. Come on. Top rope. No. Jump off the apron. Boom. You know what? Considering he wants to use a chair on me, I'm going to hit him with a chair. Because you can do that outside on this game. Oh, go away referee, no one likes you anyway. Oh, look, no, that's my chair. Oh, so now I'm being suplexed. 
on the outside onto a chair because of the referee's interference. So Kevin Steen was right to have a go at him at the start of the match. Oh, but the referee taken the chair off him as well. And a German suplex into the ring apron. A bit like Kevin Steen's power bomb onto the ring apron, but I'm already up. Can't even see the action because the stupid referee's in the way. Gonna go for the apron power bomb. Oh no, apparently not. For some reason that wasn't a power bomb this time. Well, it usually is. There we go. But we're not by the apron now. Not that it would actually make any difference. Okay, get back in the ring. Can I jump over the top rope? Probably not. Oh, I can dive through. Oh, I think I landed on him. Get back in the ring. He's going to get back in the ring. And I'm going to go for my finisher. And then pin him as soon as possible. I think I've uh, beaten on him enough. It's only been four minutes, but I've definitely... Uh, Damage this guy. Here we go. Power bomb. Into the pin. Come on, ref. One. Ah, oh, he's doing a slow count. Come on. Three. There we go. Kevin Steen wins. And the referee is going to get power bombed. Oh no, he's going to get those belly suplexed. For messing up with Kevin Steen's match. Oh, and bended leg, there we go. Okay, so his strength has risen, and I've been hindered by wrestling school. So I'm still losing a lot of money. I need to find somewhere that wants to uh, give me a contract, but it's going to let me keep my uh, creative. Okay, so uh, Honky Tonk Man is in Maple Leaf Grappling and he won a championship, so. Here's Dusty Rhodes, rest in peace. Uh, he wants to give me a contract. So what's he going to give me? 1,500 salary, that's pretty good, but I need creative. Can't trust you with creative control. Well, I'm going then. So that's two that I've turned down because of creative control. But the next thing I know, I'll be called Tin Ear. And I'll be wearing a corset and I'll be uh, in some sort of a, uh, like, I don't know. Um, Oh, I'm against Ray Scarlet this time. Yeah, I'll be like in a corset called Tinia and uh, they'll uh, give me a Divas moveset or something. So we can't be having that. Which is why Kevin Steen. Oh, what the hell is that guy doing in here? Which is why Kevin Steen is still in wrestling school. Wrestling for nobody. Wow. That, that fan just tries to jump in the ring. I know he's a member of the roster. It's. Um, Supposed to be Repo Man, but yeah, what the hell is he doing in the ring? Close line. Right, let's go for the submission. I definitely need to get working out in the next one, get those attributes up a little bit because my submissions don't really do much. So, what slam? I'm gonna try and finish this one off quick, quickly. Did a lot of damage in the last match. Oh, come on, get him up. Schoolboy pin for some reason. One, two, oh, just the one. But I now have a finisher. And there we go. In for the pin. One, two, three. Repo Man, too slow to stop that. I'm guessing he must be on a team with this guy. Don't know who this guy's supposed to be. Just took out the referee for some reason. Whoopsie. Jumping outside, going after Bailiff Bane. I'll read my man and I missed him. Okay, so his status hasn't been affected. I'm still being hindered by rest in school. I'm on to $7,500 now. Randy Walker has retired. Okay. I won't be in Dusty Rose again. He knows what to do. He knows he's got to offer me creative no health but creative hey it's 500 less than he was going to pay me before and I think the uh, contract length is different but it gets me on the map and I now have creative so that's kind of what I was pushing for what do you think of the new outfit our wardrobe created for you so this is what I'm talking about if I had gone there and not had creative that's what I would look like so no I wouldn't be seeing dead wearing this okay and we are in August. 
So that is the end of this episode. Um, so I'll see you in a week's time with another episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And have a good day.